we thought we'd do a little video. We're going to do a little home improvement project in the in our camper, and it's always a challenge when you're doing it in the campground. But we're having trouble with this faucet. The uh, when you turn it on, you can see the water is leaking around it. I've tore it apart a couple of times, cleaned it up and stuff. It's just time to replace the faucet. And uh, I have a new faucet here. We're going with a kitchen. It's just a residential type kitchen faucet. That'll be that's step one of the project is replace this faucet. Also, we bought material to replace the countertop. We're going to go just with the wood. It's it's uh, kind of uh, a softer wood, so we're, put, we're going to finish it and do that. And we've ordered a smaller sink, just a single bowl sink. So that'll be what we're doing. So the project today, though, is get this faucet out and put the new one in and then have the angle stops on there so that when it's time to replace the counter, all I have to do is turn the water off at the faucet and pull it out. Otherwise, you have to turn the water off outside and we won't have any water in the camper until everything's done and that wouldn't be good. Keep taking. Oh, I gotta get these off first before I get too far. Okay, I need to look right there if I can. Voila! The faucet is gone. Folks, 12 years of old faucet now. Those holes, when we get the new sink though, I think it comes with one hole. So this will not be necessary. And then these just go through here. But. Of course, the holes back then weren't the same that they are today. So, being as I'm not at home and would have some drill bit or a big spade bit that maybe I could ream that out or something, I'm going to have to go to plan B. to mount just like that okay okay this right here like that this turns so there we go oh these are this is so nice compared to old stuff <laughs> is he going down through this yeah trick is not to over tighten and compress the seal in there. You want them snug, but not too tight. This is where not being a bull in a china closet makes a difference. If we got any leaks. Okay. And I am not seeing anything, are you? Hold. Off. Perfection. Here's what we're going to make a countertop out of. And we got this at Lowe's and it's called an edge glued panel. 
The only thing about it is it's a little bit of a soft wood. So we're going to make sure we put enough coats of polyurethane. And hopefully their edge gluing is really good. So when we get done, we'll see. The only thing, the reason we like going with this is one, it's very inexpensive. This whole piece is like 30 some dollars, all this versus a hundred to two hundred dollars for a butcher block and the butcher block is a little too thick for what we needed and way heavy red oak and then this morning he brought express espresso but that was a little dark and then we had what was the other one red mahogany mahogany but it was too purple, so. Here comes the inspector general here. So, yeah. It's got Our garage is filling up. I glued a little piece on the end. I've stained it yesterday. When did I stain it? Yesterday? Yesterday, yes. Put the stain on it. I put two coats of polyurethane on the back. One last night, one this morning. And this is the first coat on the top. And this is, it's, kind of hard doing it at a campground when you have a garage and controlled environment stuff it's nice luckily we've got about three days of nice weather I'm hoping to get four coats on this and it's a fast drying near thing but it needs still four to five hours between coats and it's not warm till in the mornings it's chilly so it's gonna be interesting so this is uh, woodworking in the campground <laughs> Okay, so today we're gonna tear the counter out. Well, to get the counter out, I'm gonna have to take the sink, the faucet, and the stove, the stove oven thing out. And I've just turned the gas off and kind of burned the gas out of it. Was in the line. The top's all made out there. We just have to cut it. Um, but first, it's demo. And if you ever done any demo in a RV? It's always unique how things are put in there and where screws are and stuff. So this. This is probably going to take the most time, is getting stuff out. And all this stuff is probably going away. Holding tank is coming right there, so I need a paper towel to stuff in the end to kind of keep it. Yep. Where are you going to get the bows? Like you put a spark plug in a 72 Volkswagen Beetle. You feel for the, you feel for that. Gotcha. <laughs> Here we go. Sink out. <laughs> Let's see if this comes out. Yes, it does. There we go. So now. This line disconnected. Take the stuff and set it on the cardboard. Instead of taking the screws out of the countertop, I'm taking the screws out of the bracket. That way, and I'm marking where it goes. That way, I can put the bracket on the countertop easier, and there's less screws here. In fact, where's my glue? Voila, one countertop. Woohoo! Now, I've got to save this bracket and put it on out there. Probably do the same. With the trim, you can take it off here? Yeah, I think so. Now, what is it on with? Just glue, I think. Because it doesn't seem to have screws in it. No. Yeah. Oh my goodness, look how easily that came we'll off. Let's clean that up. We'll set that there. It's going to be short, though. So. And what he means by that is the counter we're putting in that he made is just, uh, just two one. inches more than yep. this counter. To give it's going to stand room over on. the arm a little bit to give us extra room to put the coffee pot in the corner over there. Use 
use this area right here to get his measurements for his the stove. They're gonna be See, I envisioned you laying yeah. this down on top of no, that and I, tracing around. I, it. I could. I could for this part probably. trailer right now because he is not fond of power tools so yeah Maybe I had it going does that time. scare you buddy yeah it does doesn't it, I might have had it going afraid that this could happen. The board that we're using is edge glued soft wood and so it came together right at a seam, came off. So he is going to put some glue and a little board that won't overhang. Oh, that'll work right there. And damp be in the way of the stove to repair it. stove is back in and it's operational and now we're going to start working on cutting the hole for the sink he thought it would be easier to cut the hole for the sink in here and just clean up after the mess so that's where the sink is going to go you see our coffee pot's now going to go here and in the past it's been right here turned this way to give us the counter space and then we'll have that much counter space I know that doesn't look like much, but in the RV world and in Airstream world, that's a lot of space. So basically what he's see. doing is they gave, they told him to me measure around the sink and then come in 5 sixteenths and then have inch and a half radius around Corner. corners. So that's what he's working on. Okay. Okay. Let me see if I know it's hard to see what he's doing. See right there, and then he's going to use this three inch diameter can to make a one and a half inch radius circle. You never knew Garbanzo beans could come in so handy. The other thing I was thinking of doing is laying tape down and mm -hmm. cutting to the edge of the tape. in the process of working on the plumbing part. Work. It looks like <clears throat> I even have a few parts and pieces left. Well, that's a really pretty configuration, dear. Here, yes. And it's called a quick seal. And it's bath and tub and tile, bathroom caulk. And that's what keeps the water the silicone down. Yeah. I think the 
it has to come to the front a little more, doesn't it? Oh golly, this one I can't even get to. It's behind the... Glad I put that one in. Okay, so now he's working with plumber, plumber's putty and he's going to put the drain in. Yep. There we go. This went really well considering using my projects at home involved hammers, sawzalls, and replacing bathtub tiles after I couldn't get things apart and tore up the whole wall. Right.